is it worth it you know leaving a 2.4 million naira job to relocate if you're here in the uk or you're here anywhere in the world is it worth it or it's not worth it will you abandon your 2.4 million naira job to relocate to the uk hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you're seeing me for the first time hello my name is fura good to have you guys here so guys i decided to do a reaction video today yes 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 i decided to do a reaction video so if you've not subscribed subscribe again subscribe subscribe okay please let's move this family this service to the permanent site all right so guys i saw this tweet that has been going around on instagram i've been meaning to do a reaction about it but like i've been putting it off but this time i said i'll do a reaction yes i know i'm wearing the same top or the same dress with my last video yes 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 because i'm filming the same day and i was telling myself look there's no need to change top because it's the same day i'm filming this thing why would i be dirty in my clothes because as i've worn it now i didn't go anywhere and i'm wearing this dress just to film for you guys not like i'm going to like keep it and wear it on that day no i don't wear my clothes twice so once it's in my body it has to go through the washing machine before i can wait again so if i wear three clothes or four clothes to film with you guys it means i'm not going to wash the four of them I, it's, it's, it's somehow somehow so i decided to just you know film for you guys with it okay so i saw these tweets that have been going around saying that a guy quit his 2.4 million naira job and his wife was also working in the bank as the bank manager or whatever and he quit his job to relocate to the uk and the guy was asking what is his problem why he's relocating to the uk like he was surprised like how would somebody quit job of 1.4 million naira be 2.4 million naira and move to the uk i think it was 1.4 but let's make it 2.4 I moved to the UK and the job is his wife is working in the bank. That why will you that is not worth it? It's not worth it. So I decided to do a reaction video to talk about it. Okay. So guys, 2.4 million era. I came prepared, like I came calculating. Okay, so if if I'm calculating, so if I'm uh, looking down, just know that I came calculating my calculator and now I'm trying to bring up my calculator so that we can calculate if it's worth it or not, okay? Yeah, so this is my calculator, yes. 2.4 million Naira for a man who have been able to attain to get 2.4 million Naira if the only thing that was holding him in Nigeria was that job, 2.4 million Naira okay let's see if it's worth it to move to the uk first know that for a man that have worked work to a point where they're able to pay him 2.4 million naira let's say he's working in an oil company he's not a small boy in an oil company he's not going to be like a trainee or someone that have started he would have spent up to 10 years in that company okay he would have spent up to 10 years or 8 years if no more or <laughs> 15 years in that company and for a man who has spent 15 years or 10 years let's say he even started working when he was 25 he's still not a small boy he should be in his if he's 15 years for example he should be in his 40s early 40s or mid 40s if he was you know early in his 20s or late in his 20s he started working in this company so he should be in his 40s and for somebody who has been this fort in his 40s remember a lot of these companies um oil companies uh, once you're in your 40s, once you've worked for those companies, let's say you've worked for an oil company 15 or 20 years, you have reached to get your pension. And once you work, you're between 50 or 60, you have reached to retire. So let's say this guy was in his 40s, let's say 45. Now, if he's 45 and has worked for this company for, you know, for, um, 15 years he has reached his pension so even if he's going he's still going to get his pension which might be equivalent to half of his actual salary 
now this person decides to leave like do you understand that sometimes people even get bored with what they are doing they've done this particular job off and on sometimes life is not only about the money sometimes people have done this thing they are doing off and on every day every day and it's becoming boring and it's becoming like their life is fixed and they're like okay let's go and look for something else and this guy decided to pack up his family pack up his wife his wife agree and they all moved to the uk that could be a reason or this guy would have reached where he is now, you know, he's getting his pension and he's fixed, he's, he's sure that money will be coming into his account every month. He's had investment, you know, in place that he doesn't need that, you know, monthly income anymore. So he feels I'm comfortable enough to move. So people have different reasons why they do different things. The problem is people on social media just judge things based on their own situation so let's say this person that is putting this tweet out has not been able to see like one million a month and he says someone that's making two million and his head is like it's a lot of money why are you leaving this uh, whole money to go to the uk to do a master's because he actually said i can't find that uh i didn't scream much when i saw it because i didn't have intention to do a reaction about it but he, in that tweet some of you that have seen it he actually said it was a master's they were going to do so there are situations that make people take certain decisions people don't just take irrational decisions when it comes to their life they keep planning they keep planning they keep putting things in place before they take that decision and for you to mention his wife it means he had he had kids so let's say this man and his age he would have had like two or three kids and people that earn this amount of money they spend tons of money sending their children to better schools because they would have gone through certain things in their life and they don't want their children to go through that so some of them spend as high as let's say their children's in primary school they still have higher 350 a month a term for each of their child so let's say this man has um, um three kids and he's paying like 350 that's for the major school fees 350 times three that's one point uh fifty thousand that's one point fifty thousand um naira and in that three months let's say if he's actually making uh, uh four two point four so times that six that's like ten percent of his income and gone only on paying the children fees now remember that people that work in this kind of jobs don't just get a lump sum of this 2.4 they get tax they get deductions um, from the source before the remaining now gets to them so this man pays one point something for his three children primary school school fees let's say if he has a child that is in secondary school and he's paying like one million a term how much is remaining in this is whole six million in three months so we're using like the 10 which is three months how much is remaining no how much is remaining nothing is remaining but whereas let's say he doesn't have like any investment he doesn't have anything he's actually getting this 2.4 and let's say before they take tax everything what comes to him is two million naira that is two million naira and with his experience, I can actually get a job that will pay him £5,000. If this man has spent like 15 years in an oil company or in... Because oil company that can pay that much. I don't think a bank can pay that much. Quote me, you know, you know you're, 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 you're free to dispute. But I don't think a bank will pay you up to 2.4 million naira. Probably pull that will pay his oil company, um, all this um, mobile, all this shell, all this LNG, those big companies that will pay up to that amount every month. So let's say that man um, decides to move. Let's say he doesn't have anything in place, doesn't have um, any, let's say he just has a house. They always have houses, okay? He just have a house where he lives in, but he doesn't have like the ones he's renting. He doesn't have, he's not, he's not pensionable. All he makes is two million. So after he starts, he makes two million every month. And he comes to the UK and he decides to do 
12 pound per hour job let's say support work he doesn't you know with his experience i expect him to get a lot a good job let's say he's a project manager or he's whatever in his company i expect him to get a good job here because i've seen a lot of people depend down to that come here they have experience good experience so in wherever they are coming from especially when you have a technical experience and you come here you get a job i just met a guy who just who came here and he's a project manager back home in nigeria he's worked for 15 years and he's um a dependent to a person a wife that is going to school he got eighty five thousand per annum job now eighty five thousand per annum job divided by 12 that means he's getting a five thousand divided by twelve. It's five. It's five thousand divided by twelve. That means he's getting seven thousand pounds every month. Now this is five thousand is after tax. That means he's getting seven thousand every month. Now conversion rate now is eight twenty. So this multiplied by eight twenty. That means he's getting like 5 million, which is double 5.8 million, which is double, if not triple, of what that guy is getting back home in Nigeria. So when you see people make decisions, don't just be putting yourself in it because people are very strategic. It is only a dumb person that has a kind of money that will not be strategic and just come here. Okay? Now, let's say he decides, okay, um... He did not get anything. He's doing support work. And most of the support work now, they are paying £12. Mm -hmm. And you decide to work like 12 hours a day, which most of you spend already in your jobs in Nigeria. By the time you calculate transport, uh, transportation through and through, you spend 12 hours. So 12 times 12, that's 144 a day. So multiply by 5. Let's say you work 5 days as usual. You get 720. Let's say after tax, you get 600. That's for a week. Now, multiply by 820. That's 400 and whatever. Multiply by 4, 4. That's 1.9. 1 1.9. 1 4, 4 is 4. is 4 that multiplies 4. That's 1.9. So if you work like 5 days or 6 days, that's almost the money you are making in Nigeria. Now, you will make this money, you won't pay school fees. Your children will go to school free. You will use minimal money to feed yourself, not as much. Because I was talking to someone, a friend, when I wanted to do this video, I was talking to a friend that the husband works in an oil company. I was saying, how much do you guys spend in a month to feed? And it was like, okay, roughly 300, 400K. And this person is not somebody that will lie to me. So, if this person in Nigeria works in an oil company and they spend 400k to feed every month right now in Nigeria, you will buy foil. You will buy, uh, you pay security, house gear, all these things. So, the money is going. So, if you make 1.9 here, not pay school fees, pay minimal amount for light, get light when you pay for it. So, why won't I even abandon 2.9? 2.4 million naira job and come here. The thing is, some of us are not, you know, well informed. If I'm earning 2 point, except something else is holding me in Nigeria, okay, which is some people's case or some people are they not like have the mind to move here. They are still planning, 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 which is other people's case. But trust me, with my experience being here. I will abandon 2.4 million naira job again and again to move here. Again and again to move here. Because one, if you're any in Nigeria, that 2.4 million naira might be 2.4 million naira when they give it to you. In one week, it might not be 2.4 million naira again. It would have reduced. But here, if you have 100 pounds in your hand and you decide to save that 100 pounds, in one month, two months, profit would have entered it if you're sending that money to Nigeria. So it's better to come here. Now, I'm, I'm saying if you are working as a support worker, which is like the most minimal job or the most cheapest job. It's not the most cheapest because there are cleaning jobs that pay less. But let's say you work £12 or sometimes they pay £10. 
there are some agencies that even pay as high as 16 pounds if you have energy or you have strength to go and work in those places and trust me this job are not that tedious i've always said to you guys this support this uh, care work i'm always saying support because that's what we call it here this care work have different stages i've said if you are uh, you know you don't want to deal with people's contact contact people body you can go to work with people with disability that or you are learning disability that you don't need to touch them they are independent people they take care of themselves all you need to do they just need someone to be present there in case they are going astray you can work in mental health then you can work in the care home if you don't mind you know um touching people's body fluid and all those kind of things so there are different different sectors to work and this job is a reputable job like sometimes people drive me crazy like even my own people they drive me crazy like people that are close to me they drive me crazy when they say ah in a bunch some of my people are like in a bunch in america in a bunch in the uk and i'm like this people don't understand that <laughs> it won't she here is a lot of money is a lot of money it might not be too much money to you know push, to be a millionaire but you can do a lot i've seen people who have built houses in nigeria from working as carers i've seen people who are paying university fees for their children like they came they all came as international students then um, their children who have passed like age of um being on their visa or some of them they brought their children when they're 17 and their children are now 18 and they need to go to university they are working as carers and they are paying international fees for their children because they are not yet citizen or they don't have a PR yet here they are working as carers they are doing these things i've seen people who are thinking of that people back home working as carer so carer is more reputable it's a reputable job here i would prefer again and again to work as a carer here in the uk that work as a bank manager in nigeria hey so what is the essence of you no know, eat more tie you know wear jacket wear all these things and sit down in an office and you're not getting financial satisfaction i've seen people who work in banks you you are still running around to complete your house rent you are still running around to complete your school fees moreover here if you are working as a carer, you don't need to run around if you plan yourself very well, except you are living extravagantly. But if you plan yourself very well, you don't need to run around for any school fees or any rent or any whatever for yourself. So probably what you want to run around is if you now start living beyond your means. And then if you now relocate here, finally, finally, you have opportunity to integrate into the system and become their permanent resident or you become their citizen and your children will get this dual citizenship life will be easier so if nigeria is doing anyhow they can jackpa which are the opportunities some of us you and me that's watching the video did not get for our parents because I'm just thinking like if my parents had, you know, foreseen Nigeria and had me in the US or had me in or the UK like some people have friends and their parents had them here okay it would be a lot easier now that i want to relocate i'll just carry my red passport and just fly it and just come on you know we enjoy life but anyway we move so again and again it is worth it to abandon a 2.4 million naira job and move here because if you depend only on the 2.4 million era, you can actually make that 2.4 million era here with your experience as a project manager, with your experience as a surveyor in Nigeria, you will get jobs. With your experience as a even a bricklayer, you will get job. I was talking to someone who came as a student and she works and he works in a, um, a construction site as a bricklayer. He said he makes as much as 20 25 pounds every day, and it's as much as he wants to work. If he wants to work 12 hours, he wants to work more than 12 hours. So he calls, he, he cut the short when he wants to go and when he wants to come. But he's a bricklayer. I've also met a Nigerian who works here as a plumber. He's a student, but he works as a plumber. Only the side hustle he does is a lot. Then with the company where he worked as a their permanent plumber, he said the only thing that is limiting him is his 20 hours. That he can't even wait. 
to get out of this student visa and he can work full time. He said to me that he, he's not bothering on using his um, uh, master's whatever to, to go and look for work. That he will just concentrate on this plumbing. All he needs to do is maybe if, if there's any course he can do to push it up, he will just concentrate on this plumbing that he's doing. That he's not bothering to use his master's whatever to go and find work. That's how opportunities are here. So if it's me, oh, I don't know about you, if it's me, I will abandon 2.4 million naira job and come here. Is what it is. So there's nothing that is surprising about it, okay? So don't be surprised. Come, come, come and let's chop house together. Like if I can, I'll bring all my siblings, everybody to come and experience this thing. A lot of people will say it's hard to live here. I'm not going to lie. It's hard, especially when you're alone. You do all this work yourself and you still have to go to work. By the end of the day, you don't have to look at the present. You have to look at the future, what the future holds. Imagine I'm able to skate through and integrate myself into the system and I'm 67, I retire. I'm sure of getting my pension or whatever I am entitled to from the government. I'm not going to go fight the government to give me what I have worked for. They will give it to me because it's my right. So... I'm sure that in my old age, I'll be comfortable if I decide, but trust me, I don't know when that time will sort itself, but trust me, I don't think that I will spend my youthful age suffering and toiling here and decide to go back home when I'm old and I'm ready to benefit from the system. Like I see a lot of people that will work here, hustle, 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 and when they're ready to benefit from the they're like, I want to go back home. Yeah, you can go back home and be receiving whatever you're receiving. So, like I've met a lady who told me her husband has retired and went back home and the government still pays him so he spends his money back home. It's also a good investment for himself. So he knows that, oh, the money they're sending him, now he will be boiling. He will be boiling. Because Naira, pounds is not Naira's meat. You'll be boiling. So it's what is, please think about it. So that's my opinion, okay? So don't come for me in this video. It's my opinion. You can, you know, keep whatever you have to say in the comment section. What do you think? Is it what is, you know, leaving a 2.4 million Naira job to relocate if you're here in the uk or you're here anywhere in the world is it worth it or it's not worth it will you abandon your 2.4 million naira job to relocate to the uk for me i will do it over and over again for you will you do it it might not be the uk it might be canada anywhere in the world will you abandon a 2.4 million naira job to relocate let's talk in the comment section until i see you in another video don't forget to like subscribe i love you